extremely happy to have Onuma Sensei. Um, like all diet members, she's extremely busy. She just got elected to the upper house this for the first time. Um, she has already an accomplished uh, resume. She was at the Tokyo Foundation, uh, Japan's leading think tank. She was at the Japanese Consulate General in Hong Kong. She was also with NHK, and she's a graduate of Keio University. So uh, thank you so much, Numa Sensei, for taking the time to join us. We know uh, that you know, the life of a diet member is a very busy life, much busier than that of an academic. So thanks again. So the floor is yours. Um, and then uh, we'll take the Q&A. So again, thank you very much. I was a researcher specializing in contemporary Chinese politics at Tokyo Foundation Unit at a think tank in, in Tokyo. And for two years, from 2006 to 2008, I was a uh, research fellow at the Consulate General of uh, Japan in Hong Kong, analyzing Chinese politics and democracy, a uh, diplomacy. I look forward to talking with you all and hope that we can have a fruitful exchange of opinions that will help us assess the future of China and build a constructive US, a Japan US China relationship. In discussing uh, recent relations, uh, I don't have to say, um, between Japan and China, uh, we cannot avoid to mention by China on November 23rd. U.S. Vice President Biden visited Japan, and Japan and, Japan and the U.S. were united in their response that uh, both expressing deep, deeply concern. Since the start of the administration, the Japan US <coughs> relationship has grown rapidly closer with the holding of two plus two meetings and other developments. And bilateral relationship is moving to a new stage. On the other hand, the Japan China relationship continues to move in an unfavorable direction established by during the Democratic Party of Japan administration um, and has not been able to reach a new stage. Uh, there have been no Japan-China leaders summit since Noda administration nationalized the Senkaku Island last year. And the station has continued even after Abe became prime minister 
with Japan, China relations remain far from the in two, uh, two, uh, 2013, we should be celebrating 35 anniversary of Treaty of Peace and Friendship between Japan and China, but the bilateral relationship remains worse. The issues of the Senkaku Island. The issue of the Senkaku Islands is one on which neither Japan nor China feels unable to compromise. However, this issue is at the root cause of all the current problems and is in danger of becoming entrenched, fixed. Uh, that is the biggest issue that we face. I hope that current administration uh, I mean, Abe administration in con construct to GP and set up a strong new message of building realistic, constructive relationship with China. The first administration, Abe administration, it was 2006 to 2007, uh, he, he worked very hard to repair the re relationship Japan and China, damaged by the issue of former Prime Minister Koizumi's visit to Yasuko Shrine. By emphasizing new phase of building mutual beneficial and strategic relationship. The second of administration right now, he also mentions that the door for dialogue is always open is when Xi Jinping uh, became a leader of China in March. And also, the recent December 6th, this was uh, Bloomberg's interview, he said uh, he wanted to have a, a leader summit with China. A very strong message is essential. Uh, even Koizumi kept saying, uh, even Koizumi, uh, former prime minister, he kept saying, China was an um, opportunity for Japan while visiting a Aspen shrine. Uh, however, the second administration does not appear to be proactive in attempting to improve the overall bilateral relationship. Uh, this is true not only the government, but also individual politicians, many politicians with knowledge of China, such as uh, Koichi Kato, who contributed greatly to Japan-China relations, have retired, many retires. And uh, it is very difficult now to find any individuals with an um, in-depth knowledge of China within LDP. The Japanese media also, uh, Japanese media also, uh, focus on central issues on front pages, but very few articles uh, favor favorable to China. I believe the impact of mass media stance is extremely large. According to questionnaires conducted by the cabinet office, 80.6% of Japanese people have a favorable opinion of China. However, in the field of commerce, the Japanese companies are extremely active in China. China is Japan's largest trading partner. <coughs> a total of more than 20,000 Japanese companies operate in China more than anywhere else, including the U.S. However, when delegation from Kedalem, the Japan Business Federation visited China in November, they were received a previously unthinkable way, meeting only with Wang Yao, one of the most prominent of China, 
and not the Xi Jinping or Ali Kuchan. And if nothing is done in political fields, the national interest both countries will be damaged. The government, individual politicians, media, and Japanese companies need to make great effort to build and maintain strategic mutual benefit, beneficial relationship from each, each of their respective standpoints. The Prime Minister's position and remarks on the issue are very important. I said before that former Prime Minister continuing to say that China was opportunity for Japan, a chance for Japan. So I hope that Prime Minister Abe will issue a similar message to China. And looking to, toward the future, <coughs> we can see China will have a lot of uh, difficult <coughs> problems, including Growing economic growth, you can see the rates, growth rates, are becoming lower and lower, and fewer children and more elderly people, environmental problems, PM 2.5 or cadmium poisoning soil in Huma, Huna Gomez, <coughs> or tension between ethnic groups, like you remember the suicide terrorist attack by a Uyghur and also the corruption, widespread in the high-rank officials, Ho Chi Lai or Zhou Yan Khan's incident is very famous. And also, I think one party rule by the Communist Party cannot easily be changed. That is because the people in China know that through history, when the country was fluctuous, it has weakened by other countries. <coughs> And also in China, where constitutionalism is not suitable, is political culture. So the only way to pass a democracy will be through slow change from within the ruling structures. Therefore, we need to encourage such change. The provision to China by industrialized countries such as Japan and the US of knowledge and assistance required to address the various problems in the best way <coughs> to encourage a soft democratic land, soft landing in China and facilitate the development of China into a con constructive partner of Japan and the US. Especially, then what can we do? Japan is in a position to make a various proposal to China on a number of matters. These include Japan's world leading health insurance system, universal health care system, that cover all citizens. Japan's experience in dealing with environmental issues, including health programs caused by environmental <coughs> contamination following the cases of Japan's Itaite disease or Minamata disease. And Japan should invest not only in the kind of cultural change or economic assistance of ODA in Korea, but also in the introduction to China of this public system and soft in, 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 in structure. These are the tools we can use to encourage the development of China into a mature state. China is often referred as a country with centralized power. But power in Japan, in our, uh, power in, in, in Japan is far more centralized in, uh, in, uh, far more centralized than in China. It is 
because these long term centralized uh, ruling party structure under the uh, LDP enable Japan to create unprecedented old middle class society through economic growth. Tax reform to address economic disparity and the well balanced land development and the and the infrastructures. <coughs> if Japan's knowledge and uh, experience can be fully transmitted to China, China can establish such a infra nationwide. It, that will encourage internal change within China's political system. Simply shouting <coughs> about human rights and democracy will not change China's one party system. The important issue is the extent to which public party software and infrastructure system can be imported into China to encourage internal change. Another issue is growing appearance of China in terms of both material wealth and consumer attitude, which can also be a foundation for economic growth in Japan. As China shifts from becoming a factory to a marketplace, China's value will increase, increase dramatically, and while the Chinese public they shout anti-Japanese slogans and call for military expansion actually target is their government, Chinese government itself. So as society becomes increasing affluent, such voices will grow quiet. Neutral economic depend dependence between Japan and China, between the US and China, grows increasingly so the deterioration of the political relationship risks also destroying economic relations. We need to look at the issues China currently faces from the Chinese point of view and try to analyze why there is anti-Japanese nation and why China is is needed to change the security balance in Asia. Japan and the U.S. need to carefully analyze these issues and lend hand to resolve Chinese domestic <coughs> problems in order to encourage a change in current election of anti-Japanese feeling in the military country. In Japan, we must also remain fully aware that the nation, China, is indispensable for our economic growth. It is essential that Japan, US, China, respectively do all they can do to exercise leadership in Asia for peace, security, and prosperity of the region. <coughs> so building constructive relations among Japan, US, China can be accomplished by measures including development of common understanding such as I said before, the how to how to manage, for example, um, environmental issues or um, corruption issues. We can manage together, but basis we need to make common understanding in that issue, and also. 
construction of much layer system, not only economic but also the cuttings for Chinese military and Japanese defense authorities to keep in contact at sea. That is very important. Right now it's all stopped, but we tried to set up the mechanism before, so we have to move it on this mechanism to, to move forward. And also, sometimes Japan and China's leaders' communication is very important. Um, because when every time Japanese leaders visit China, China's leaders said, our relation is 4,000 relations. That means before uh, our relationship after World War II is only 60 years. So to think of from 4,000 years relation is only 60 years. So it's very important to communicate with leaders leaders. So nowadays, very uh, other administration is indifferent to Japan-China relations. So I very hope that to the, uh, Mr. Abe and uh, Mr. Xi Jinping's um, relation will make more to uh, to get um, to get uh, more uh, our communication more fully. And I'm I'm a very beginner of uh, a member of house of um, consular member. However, I try to push government to work toward these uh, goals. So it is now, uh, I'm going to China the end of December with a, um, this is Obuchi. Um, she is the, the daughter of uh, the former prime minister <coughs> of Obuchi and also the Mr. Uh, Wataru Takeshita is also uh, the former Prime Minister uh, Takeshita Nobu's uh, uh, son. So, and also the Hashim, Mr. Hashimoto, Agaku uh, Hashimoto, he's also a son of <laughs> um, former Prime Minister Hashimoto Ryutaro. But something is very important for Japan-China uh, relations because uh, this is very uh, famous that um, this is uh, Makiko Tanaka. Uh, she was a daughter. Uh, she is a daughter of former Prime Minister of Tanaka uh, Kake, uh, and who uh, make uh, uh, relations uh, uh, back in 1972. Uh, the, so all the time, even. Uh, this is Tanaka uh, is not now politician right now, but when she visit uh, China, she can meet uh, maybe Xi Jinping or Li Keqiang because uh, they they know uh, they they their way of thinking is uh, uh, Tanaka Kakule is very important. <coughs> Prime Minister that makes Japan and, and China and China's relations uh, relations back to normal. So um, I am only one that uh, my father is not the Prime Minister that <laughs> goes to China at this time. Thank you for. Uh, Thank you for uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Um, I'm a little bit shorter, but uh, I remind.